Hello children and welcome to your English class. You know who is going to teach you English now onwards? Ivy ma'am. Do you remember Ivy ma'am children? I am happy that you remember your Ivy ma'am. Okay, so let's get started with our English course. So, please children, take out your textbooks. The literature reader, get ready with your literature reader. The Oxford New Pathways, an interactive course in English. The literature reader, are you ready with it? Okay, alright. So now since you are ready with your Oxford New Pathways, an interactive course in English literature reader, let's see what we are going to do today. Okay, if you see the contents, you will see that the first chapter is Two Brothers, page number 9. But we are not going to start with the first chapter. We are going to start with the second chapter which is The Nightingale by Sue Farrington. Chapter number 2, page number 1414. Okay, so are you ready with chapter number 2? The Nightingale, page number 1414. I hope you all are ready with it. And one more thing children, before we start the chapter, I would request you to kindly take a pencil in your hand. Please take a pencil in your hand and be ready with page number 14. Open and your pencil in your hand. All right, that's great. So let's go ahead. Chapter number two, the nightingale. First thing what you have to do is put the classwork just below the name of the chapter, the nightingale. See, Ivy ma'am has already put CW classwork. So you also have to put CW classwork. Then at the right hand side, you have to put today's date. Have you put the date? Very good. So you have put the classwork, you have put the date. Now let us start. Children, remember that you have to keep the pencil in your hand and keep underlining the words that I tell you to underline. Alright? Okay. So let's get started. Long ago in China, there lived a great emperor who was richer and more powerful than any emperor who had ever lived. His palace was as big as a city and beautifully decorated with porcelain. Now what is porcelain children? Please underline porcelain. Very good. Now what is porcelain? Porcelain is a substance that is used to make Cups, plates, decorations, etc. Alright? Like how we may use marble to decorate the houses when it is built. The similar way, porcelain is a substance that is used as a decorative purpose. Okay. Por with porcelain, silver and gold. Around the palace, there was a garden that stretched further than the eye could see. Now, Please underline stretched. Stretched means extended or it went further than the eye could see. It was full of the loveliest plants and trees. Little streams sparkled in the sun. Please underline streams. Please underline sparkled. Stream means a small narrow river, alright? And sparkle means something that shines, that glitters, alright? In the sun. And deep pools reflected, underline reflected. The meaning of reflected is to show an image of something or someone on a surface like mirror or water, alright? Reflected the delicate, please underline delicate, 
delicate is something that is very fragile very easy to damage or break we also call delicate nazuk in hindi right all right delicate flowers that grew along their banks everyone agreed now underline agreed the meaning of agreed is to say yes to something that it was the most beautiful garden in the world now ivy ma'am is going to repeat the same paragraph i'm going to read out the same paragraph once again listen carefully long ago in china there lived a great emperor who was richer and more powerful than any emperor who had ever lived his palace was as big as a city and beautifully decorated with porcelain silver and gold around the palace there was a garden that stretched further than the eye could see it was full of the loveliest plants and trees little streams sparkled in the sun and deep pools reflected the delicate flowers that grew along their banks everyone agreed that it was the most beautiful garden in the world the second paragraph among the trees of the emperor's garden there lived a little brown bird who was not beautiful at all it was a nightingale when the nightingale opened her mouth and sang the notes came trickling now please underline notes and trickling notes means they in this chapter notes refers to musical notes which means a small bit of sound similar to syllable in spoken language you have learnt last year you have learnt syllables right yes you were breaking the words and you were syllabifying the words so you have learnt about syllables so this is kind of syllable a small bit of sound all right and the meaning of trickling is moving slowly like a thin stream okay so trickling out like pearls from a silken purse everyone who heard it forgot their troubles they even forgot the beautiful garden and the powerful emperor they all said that the nightingale song was the loveliest thing they had ever heard now ivy ma'am is going to read out the same paragraph for you once again among the trees of the emperor's garden there lived a little brown bird who was not beautiful at all it was a nightingale when the nightingale opened her mouth and sang the notes came trickling out like pearls from a silken purse everyone who heard it forgot their troubles they even forgot the beautiful garden and the powerful emperor they all said that the nightingale's song was the loveliest they all said that the nightingale's song was the loveliest thing they had ever heard okay children now i have read the two paragraphs for you and we have marked some new words we have come across some new words as we came across these new words i gave you the meanings as well okay the meanings of these words now what you are supposed to do is you have to take your english class work notebook and ensure that you maintaining it very well you maintaining it beautifully the writing in the notebook should be legible it should be very very beautiful all right so what you have to do in your english notebook you have to take out the first page leave one page the second page i'm talking about the second page 
okay the second page on the right hand side okay there you have to write the heading now how this will go i'll show you this is how you have to write in your english notebook first on the right hand side right on top you will write today's date then the first line not above the margin on the first line you will write chapter 2 the nightingale after writing this you will leave one line and write on the next line on the left hand side you will write new word on the right hand side you will write meaning now children remember you have to take a ruler and draw a line in between okay use a ruler all right a scale to draw a line now again you leave one line and write number 1 the first word that i had made you underline porcelain how do you pronounce this porcelain okay when you have written porcelain then just ahead of porcelain in the meaning section in the meaning side you will write the meaning of the word porcelain a substance used to make cups plates decorative items etc after this you will leave one line come to the next line write number 2 stretched go ahead and write extended which is the meaning of stretched the meaning of stretched is extended so you in beautiful handwriting you are going to write it then again you will leave one line write the third word stream leave some space come to the meaning section write a small narrow river leave one line come to the next line number 4 reflected shown an image of something or someone on a surface such as mirror or water leave another line come to the next line the fifth word delicate and the meaning you write fragile easy to damage so either one you can learn the meaning of delicate is fragile which is also easy to damage leave another line now come to the next line number 6 agreed leave some space write the meaning said yes to something agreed said yes to something now again you will leave one line come to the next line number 7 write notes leave some space and write a small bit of sound okay then again you leave another line come to the next line number 8 trickling leave space write moving slowly like a thin stream so this is how you're going to write these eight words that we have come across these new words that we have come across today and the meaning of these words so you're going to write it beautifully along with writing it you're going to read when you are writing keep on repeating keep on reading it aloud all right and when you are reading it try to learn it and memorize it as well okay so you are going to write beautifully neatly in a legible handwriting you're going to read it out plus you're going to memorize it okay thank you children see you now in the next class okay till then bye bye stay safe stay blessed